Fight Channel donosi vam UFC 152 s 9 mečeva u izravnom prijenosu. Počinjemo u noći sa subote na nedjelju 23. rujna u 2 ujutro. U glavnoj borbi večeri Vitor Belfort diže se u polutešku kategoriju kako bi izazvao nedodirljivog Johna Jonesa i još jednom postao prvakom. Igor Pokrajac u meću karijere sustreće se s brazilcem Vinije Magaljajša, a Joseph Benavides i Dimitrius Johnson odlučit će tko će biti prvi UFC u prvak u muha kategoriji. Također, Brian Stan i Michael Bisbim traže put do Andersona Silve. Prijenos pogledajte na Pay Per View u nedjelju 23. grujna od 2 sata ujutro na 25. kanalu Max TV-a. UFC 152 samo na Fight Channelu. With us, Vini Magalhães. Magalhães. Magalhães, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have a big fight going on on uh, Saturday with uh, our Igor Fokrat. Can you tell us something about it? It's your big return to UFC. You know, I I'm taking more as like you know, it's my big, my actually my final like the, like UFC debut. You know, because the first time when I was in UFC, I wasn't really like you know trained as an MMA fighter should be trained. So that's pretty much my first. I'm gonna consider my first experience as an MMA fighter in the UFC. So like you know, it's a, it's a pretty good feeling to be like back in the UFC, but now is a, is a much better fighter. It's a big fight for you, but also for Igor. He has uh, three wins in a row, and uh -huh. fourth win would be. Uh, great deal right uh, definitely you know here's the thing like you know he's well ranked like in the UFC like there are not many guys in, in the division even like some of the top 10 guys are, they don't have like three wins in a row so like I feel like Igor is like he's well placed in the division and uh, a win over him is gonna put him like in that place so like you know that's why that's what I'm thinking I, I don't really care about like his winning streak I'm thinking about like me like breaking his winning streak and like you know taking his spot You've done a lot since the last time you were in UFC. You've mm -hmm. grown. You were M1 uh, uh, champion, right? Uh -huh. And what happened in M1? Well, you know, like uh, we had like a contract. The contract expired. Like then, uh, you know, M1 they they try to keep me like you know, like locked like in a championship clause. And I try to like follow the, follow all the rules and stuff. And like you know, I finally like signed with the UFC. In reality, there was never any issue with the, with M1 with the contract. Though the whole issue was with one of the promoters that worked for M1, and you know it became personal, but it was nothing to do with business. And uh, you know, once the contract was over, I already had like a UFC deal, and like all I had to do was to sign, and that's what I did. But uh, you know, there was no bad feelings or anything like against M1. It's clear that you are a uh, favorite when it comes to the grappling game. What do you think about Igor's skills? On you know, Igor is a really good fighter, like overall good fighter. You know, even when it comes to grappling, he, like you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like I know I do have that advantage on the ground, but he's not a, like he's not a champ on the ground. He's a good grappler like himself. Uh, when it comes to striking, you know, like here's the thing. Like he, a lot of people give him like the, like being a favorite as a striker. Yes, yeah, based on his record. I would say that, but you know, based on skills, I see him like you know having like a slight, like a little more experience. But I don't see him, him as a, as being like a great striker. He's not like a race step striker. He's not a pro cop striker. He's a good striker, but he's not at that level. So like you know, I feel like he's good. He does have like a little edge like on me, like on when it comes to striking. But I also have like a huge edge when it comes to when it comes to grappling. So like you know, I think it's an even fight. Overall, so you think he is a favorite or you? Because he has uh, better know, ranking. Uh, no, I don't care about rankings. You know, like the rankings, they, they lie. You know, like when uh, when John Jones fought Shogun, like he was uh, Shogun was a favorite. He was a champion. You know, John Jones was just like a young guy and he beat him. Uh, so like rankings, they don't mean anything. You know, and when it comes to like even like you know numbers and all that stuff, I don't have to care about it. Cause like the same way that Igor has like a bunch of like MMA fight, fights. I do have like over like 300 like grappling matches and I was competing against some of the best in the world and beating the best in the world like I did like against Fabrice Verdun last year. Yeah. So I shouldn't be caring like about numbers at all. So definitely you're looking for a submission of the night you told this a couple of times. Well that's what I want but that's like you know that's me looking uh, like looking after the money and like who does especially having a family you know you want to make that money so you can provide to your family but uh, it's not about like me getting the submission night. The whole thing for me is to get the win. You know if you can get the submission night that's an extra that's a plus. 
but that's not what I'm going after. I'm going after the win. That's what I'm going to get. Are you a little disappointed that you guys ended up in uh, not in the main card? Well, you know, at first you're, you're never like supposed to be on the on the main card, so I was not really upset. Like uh, like Evan Dunn should be more upset because he was scheduled to be on the main card. In our case. Uh, the only reason I was upset because I believe that I'll fight, like, you know, you go for, for being like on a three winning streak in the UFC. Like I said, he's really well ranked, like, in my opinion, like in the UFC right now. And me, like, coming off, like, you know, five wins in a row, having like a title. Even though, like, a lot of people don't think as important, like, don't see him one title as important title, he's still a title. And one guy with like a five winning streak with a title, the other guy with a three win streak in the UFC. And then they bring a guy who's like, you know, first time ever in the UFC, not many people heard about. And they put a guy who's coming off like retirement yeah. and two losses in the main card. So that didn't make sense in my opinion. Like, I think me and Igor like, could be a much better fight for people to watch, much more inter interesting than like, you know, than Hamo and, uh, and Holland. Yeah, especially because Igor always uh, puts a great fight and you are a the fighter, I think that would be a better matchup. Uh, definitely. Uh, you, you see, like, you know, both of us are finishers. Like, uh, all my, like, official wins are all by finish. And then I have, like, all the three fights in the Ultimate Fighter all by finishes as well. So I have, like, 100% like, great finish in my career. And Igor is almost the same. Like, you know, like, he probably finished, like, 80 or 90% of his fights. And then you get guys like, you know, Hollet and, uh, and Hamill. They're great fighters, don't get me wrong, but just like, you know, they have like some decisions and they're not known for like being entertaining. So I think we deserve it more. It seems that this is like a fight between a striker and a classic fight from Pride Day, maybe. But Igor also has to look out for your uh, high kick. We saw it done. Uh, no, not really. Like, you know, here's the thing. Like, I think both of us are mixed martial artists. You know, like yeah. I do. Like, like I said, like I do have like a slight like advantage when it comes to ground. Uh, I won't lie. I, I feel like by experience, he does have like a slight advantage when it comes to striking. But uh, we both both of us are MMA fighters. You know, like both of us are gonna have like pretty good grappling. Both of us are gonna have good wrestling. Both of us are gonna have like pretty decent striking. So I don't think I, I do. I do see like advantage like from from my side and advantage for his side. But uh, all together, you both are MMA fighters, so anything could happen. Even a submission in Igor's favor, who knows, you know? Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't think so, but... Last question, last question, John Jones against Vitor Beppel. You trained with Vitor in uh, Extreme Couture Gym, right? Uh, I didn't train with Vitor a little bit, not, not much. I might have trained with Vitor maybe like two or three times while he was Extreme Couture. Now he's based in Florida. Uh, you know, I, I, I won't lie. Like, I think I think John's his favorite. I don't. I'm not the only one who thinks yeah. that. But uh, I believe that Vitor has a chance. Like you know, Vitor has like fast hands and has power for hands. Like a lot of guys have speed, but they don't have power. When they have power, they don't have speed. Vitor has both. And I feel like you know, if he goes, if he really engages, if he really tries to like finish the fight, like as soon as he can, he, he has a good chance. He's not the favorite, but he has a good chance of finishing John Jones. And it's not going to be a decision. I don't see any other way for Vitor to win that fight unless he gets to the knockout. Okay, thank you, Vinny, and uh, put a great show on uh, Saturday. Thank you, I will. Thank you, appreciate it. Fight Channel donosi vam UFC 152 s devet mečeva u izravnom prijenosu. Počinjemo u noći sa subote na nedjelju 23. rujna u 2 ujutro. U glavnoj borbi večeri Vitor Belfort diže se u polutešku kategoriju kako bi izazvao nedodirljivog Johna Jonesa i još jednom postao prvako. Igor Pokrajac u meću karijere sustreće se s brazilcem Vinije Magaljaješom, a Joseph Benavides i Dimitrius Johnson odlučit će tko će biti prvi UFC-ov prvak u muha kategoriji. Također, Brian Stan i Michael Bisbing traže put do Amerika. Andersona Silve. Prijenos pogledajte na Pay Per View u nedjelju 23. rujna od 2 sata ujutro na 25. kanalu Max TV-a. UFC 152 samo na Fight Channelu.